Brian, it's great, great to have you with us. So uh, talk through the cadence. How, how do you think this is all likely to play out this year? Sure. Hi, Kelly. Um, so, you know, look, we upgraded Viacom today because we think the company has a number of things going for them right now. So, you know, first, they sit in an interesting position in the industry. They're one of only five scaled video entertainment content owners with a big budget production slate of about $20 billion, and a vast library of television shows and movies. But Viacom's enterprise value is only about $35 billion, while the other four, which are Disney, Warner Media, Discovery, Comcast, and Netflix, have enterprise values in the $120 to $325 billion range. So it gives Viacom some strategic optionality to fully realize the value of their content. You know, we also see some fundamental catalysts over the next one to two months for the company as they report four key results and they host their streaming event, which we expect to happen in February. We think they saw a nice acceleration in Paramount Plus net ads in the fourth quarter. Um, that was driven by some of the success that they had with content. We also expect improved disclosure of the company's businesses at the upcoming streaming event um, that will give Street a more granular picture of the investments they're making into streaming. Yeah. And we also yeah. expect a positive guidance update, update. So you do have this strategic optionality that we talked about, but we also see some good fundamental reasons. And we also think the valuation is really attractive here. Trading it only supposed to be time to the dots for the lowest multiples in our coverage universe. You look at an EV to sales basis, it's 1.2 times. Uh, and if you looked at the total enterprise value of Viacom to their streaming revenue, it's only 5.2 times. And that assumes zero for the linear business and for Paramount, which is obviously unrealistic. If you look at Netflix and Roku, they're trading at seven to eight times. So that's the way we're looking at the stock, and that's the reason we upgraded it. Sure. You know, your other buy-rated pick right now is actually Comcast, our parent company, at a time when there's a lot of negative sentiment around cable because of competition, uh, competition from 5G, regulatory overhang, competition from Starlink, maybe in the not-too-distant future. How does Comcast fit into what you were just describing in the streaming and media landscape as it relates to Viacom? Sure. Yeah. You know, we are a bit cautious in our outlook for the cable industry in general. Um, and we published a big report back in October talking about how the, the telcos are beginning to build out fiber to the home in more areas. That's creating more competition in broadband. And then we're also seeing wireless operators start to take market share in home broadband as well. Um, we still think that Comcast cable business uh, and other cable companies will continue to grow. Um, but we don't think that it's going to be the uh, Goldilocks environment that it's been over the last few years for broadband. The advantage that Comcast has, and the reason it's our top pick in the cable sector, is that it's it benefits from being more diversified because of their exposure uh, from the ownership of NBC Universal and also Sky. The valuation is attractive at 17 times on the free cash flow. They've got reopening tailwinds in the theme parks businesses. They've got a solid free cash flow growth outlook this year. Um, and we see also see some optionality from the company's connected TV strategy, which is still in its early stages, uh, the eventual sale of its stake in Hulu to Disney, and also gaining some traction in streaming with Peacock. And, you know, Comcast is its management team that, you know, has, has been very solid. Um, it's made, uh, you know, has been good to shareholders over the years um, and made the right strategic decisions for the company. Um, so that's the reason Comcast is yeah. uh, top of the list in cable this year. Yep, your top cable stock. Meanwhile, Viacom, you give the uh, upgrade to buy from Holden. It will be very interesting to see what happens with the CW and then all the rest of the media assets this year. Brian, thanks for your time.